Hey guys, Brett from Imperial Workshop here. Today we're going to be going over how to program your saber. So the first thing you're going to want to do is twist off the handle of your hilt. So after you get your handle off, uh, you're going to see your board, battery, and the SD card. So the first thing you're going to want to do, make sure to take out your battery. Uh, if you take out your SD card before taking out your battery, you could corrupt the SD card, which would be an issue. So just push down on your battery, take it out. Might have to wiggle it out a little bit, but you get your battery out. And uh, after that, you should see your SD card right there. So you're just going to pull your SD card right out of the saber. Um, might take a little bit of finicking, but you should be able to get it right out. And after you have your SD card out, you're going to want to grab your uh, micro SD card reader, which came in your saver's box. So here's what your micro SD card reader will look like. Uh, it should come in your box in a little clear package like this. Uh, and your SD card will fit right in the top of it, like so. Uh, we're going to be moving to my computer next to show you guys how to program uh, new fonts onto your SD card as well as uh, change some of the settings up if you want to increase or lower the sensitivity. Um, you can also uh, activate or deactivate the gesture controls on your Saber and um, a few other things. So once you plug your USB drive into the computer, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down into your documents scroll until you see um, the devices connected the drives connected to your computer you can go to this pc and you can see them uh, you're going to want to open up the usb drive to access the files on the sd card these numbers here are your sound fonts there are 33 on this saber you're going to go into the set and in here there's two things that you can change so one would be the update file um, when we release an update file on our website, like this one here, all you have to do is drag the update file into this folder and replace the file in this destination. Um, when you put the SD card back in the saber, you're going to hear it say update start. And after a few seconds, it will say update complete. Uh, that should update the firmware on your saber with the updates that we release periodically. So to configure some of the settings on your saver go into this config file here open it up with a text editor so once you open up the text file you can see all of the things you can edit here um, so for starters here's the uh, channel volume you have things like the clash sensitivity um, you can enable or disable the ability to turn your saver on by stabbing right here this is to turn your saver off by stabbing um, these are our gesture controls right here, twisting it to power on. Uh, you can see one is to enable this and zero is to turn it off. So by default, we have gesture controls enabled to turn your saber on and off, but we only have gesture controls for stabbing to turn on your saber. By default, turning it off this way is disabled. So you can change the twist sensitivity here. Uh, the bigger number means that the saber will be more sensitive to twisting. This is used for the gesture controls to power the saber on and off, as well as getting the saber into the color change mode. And then we have the sensitivity of the swing. Right here, you can change that number up, play around with it a little bit. And then you get down into the different sound fonts right here. So going into this, you have your first sound font labeled color 1. This is coordinated uh, with the file right here, one. So color dash one is for all of the files in here, this sound font. And equals, you then have your RGB value right here. You can go online. This one's on Google, just do RGB color picker. And you can change the color to whatever color you want. You get the RGB value right there. Uh, this value is for red, this value is for green, and this value is for blue. Going back into this text file. So if I wanted uh, this saber to be, let's say, like 
neon green, something like that, like a lime green. Go into here, you can change, uh, you have 21, you have 237, and you have 47. Okay, so the next thing that you can change on here is the um, light effect on each blade. So we have the um, fire blade, steady blade, pulse blade, rainbow blade, candy blade, and the unstable blade. You can uh, change the effect on each font by editing this first number right here. So I'm going to go through, say I want this one to be a, a fire blade. Put that at zero. Our next one could be steady. This one could be pulse. We'll make this one rainbow. This one can be candy. And this one can be unstable. So the other setting that you can change up on your blade is this last number right here. This will allow you to change the um, the Budo effect or the style of the blade. So zero is set to standard blade. One is set to blaster blade. Two is set to ghost blade. But numbers three through seven have different boot up effects. Zero through two are uh, blade effects. Uh, three through seven are really just the boot up effects of that blade. I will have all of those kind of like short little snips over here to the side to show you what those look like. So we could go through, you just change these numbers right here. So say I want this one to be three, this one to be five, and this one to be seven. Once you're done with this step here and you change everything to how you want, um, you want to go up here and make sure that you save the changes. And the uh, the final thing I'm going to show you on what you can do with this text file, which is how to add sound fonts to your saber. You just go here, you type in color. Let's go with 34 equals. Um, and then you're going to do the parentheses and type in a value of a number. I'm just going to make it a white blade. So 255, 255, 255. And then end parentheses, comma again. This one I'm going to make a um, steady blade. It'll just be a standard blade. So it's just going to look like a standard white blade, no flashing. Okay, so once you have this step done here, you're going to want to go up here and save. And you're going to make a new folder, folder 34. Open this folder up, nothing's in it. Just like the previous folder, you see that there are a bunch of sound files in here. So open up 34, and now we want to add a font to this to this file. We want to add the sound files in here. Open up our uh, sample font, and I'm going to drag all of these files in to this folder. And then you can back out. That should be all set. Make sure that you save the changes to this text file new font is in there 34 it matches up with the file name that we have right here close the text file you might notice that these effects do not show up on the saber and if that is the case all you have to do is go on to the sound font that you've changed and delete this config file here when you put the SD card into your saber and then turn on your saber, a new config file will be created and that config file will have all of the effects in it that you've changed. And now what you wanna make sure to do before taking the USB drive out of the computer is right click and eject the USB drive. This will say it's currently in use. You can try again, it'll close out and you should be good to take the thumb drive out of your computer. So now that we've programmed your uh, SD card, you're going to take it out of the SD card reader and put it back into your saber. Make sure that the battery is still taken out of your saber. Do not put the battery back in before putting the SD card in. And very gently, carefully put your SD card back into position, right back where it was before on the board. After you put it in, make sure that it's firmly in place, not a lot of wiggle. And then uh, just put your battery back in. Make sure that the positive end is pointing towards the top of the saber and the negative end of the battery is pointing towards the bottom or the speaker. You're just gonna push that right back in. And your saber should be good to go. When you turn it back on, it's gonna have all those fonts and uh, any settings you change, those are all gonna be on there.
So the last thing that you guys are going to do, just uh, put that handle back on your hilt, twist it back into place, make sure that it's firmly on there, it's not going to come loose again, and there you go. Um, make sure to check out our other videos if you guys have any questions, and thank you for watching.